<laughs> what you know about me? Cause I know about you, pay Do what we do. You could be my boo, girl. We get What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You can probably tell that I'm wearing the same thing as the previous video, but I have help right now and I can film right now. So <laughs> I'm trying to film as many videos as possible. I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to film these two quick little videos that I've been wanting to do for so long. So today I'm going to be doing, hold on, before I say what I'm going to be doing, go and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. We're trying to reach 750 subscribers and I know that we can get there if you subscribe and join the family. Today I'm going to be doing a little review slash wear test. So the settings might not always be like this. I'm actually going to like vlog and film as I go just to update you guys. So we're going to be reviewing the Color Spell Matte and Liner Matte Lipstick Set. I saw this at Dollar General for three bucks and I was like, just look at this. Let me show you how what it looks like. You all need to see how cute this is. The little star and the moon got to me. It's like my 90s baby inside me was screaming. It looks so cute. I was like, I have to get this and review it and show my subscribers what this thing is gonna do, if it's worth it, if it's not worth it. <laughs> So this was actually three dollars and it does come with a liquid lipstick and a lip liner i haven't tried it yet i'm actually gonna try it today so that's why i have no lipstick on but we're gonna see what this is what this smells like what this looks like how it wears let me just see if it has anything important in the back um it doesn't oh this is actually by profusion Cos cosmetics if you guys are familiar with alto you know that they sell Pro profusion cosmetics there so i guess this is like designed by them distributed by them or something um and it's actually cruelty free so for my cruelty free and animal lovers out there this is perfect for you um this totally right reminded me of like the kylie lipstick uh lip kit i'm sorry <laughs> of the kylie lip kit because it comes with the liner and the lipstick itself it's like in that tone like i really love these tones these are the tones that i tend to reach out the most so like i said i did find this at dollar general they have like a little section for it they also have like a contour kit and eyeshadows but i wasn't trying to buy those because i do have a lot of products already so i'm like you know what let me just try the lips the lipstick set because that is something that was screaming to me so i'm like trying to get the little stickers off but it's just like a little cardboard packaging whatever something not too fancy still looks cute though because of the holographic logo there in the front but this is what it looks like out of the box and let me just get them out let me actually get a uh what's it called a mirror so i can you know try this on right let me just start by seeing these these um it's like plastic because i'm trying to compare it to like the color pop ones and the color pop liquid lipsticks definitely do feel more high, higher quality in packaging but usually packaging doesn't really bother me i don't really care but the little star in here is so cute and then the lip liner um it does feel a little not flimsy but it does feel a little on the cheaper side but like i said i don't really care about that the little um moon right there is so cute let me start with the lip liner i guess it's been so long since i've done a review i don't know where to start but i'm just gonna freelance this and see how it goes so it's actually sharpened already and it is kind of darker let me actually swatch it here for you guys oh and it seems to be very creamy so that's a plus so that's this little swatch right there it's definitely my color because I tend to reach out to these colors the most. So that's what the liner looks like. So I'm now I'm going to try it on my lips and see how it is. Um, I don't really like doing my lips on camera. It's going to look weird. So I might clip some of these clips out. But <laughs> let's go ahead and try it. And I do tend to overline my lips a little bit. It's actually like very smooth. So that's the lip liner by itself. It's actually very smooth unlike other lip liners that they do tend to like pull on your skin. And then you end up having like a very crooked messed up line. This one is very smooth like you can literally just swipe it and it'll just glide on. It transfers a color very nicely which I do like. So that's the lip liner by itself. It's a very pretty nude color might be a little too light for my taste 
if i were to just wear the lip liner by itself it might be a little too light but let's see how it looks like with the liquid lipstick on and this is like the real proof this is what's gonna determine if it's actually good or not because if this is not transfer proof if this does not last and smears all over the place it's gonna be a total fail it's like those lipsticks that have like that cupcake taste cupcake taste that cupcake scent um it doesn't smell much like chemicals it actually smells really good so let me go ahead and apply this on my lips now right off the bat you can see that this color is way too light to be combined with that color unless you're really doing and really trying to go for an ombre look this does not really match with the lip liner like you can see it's kind of too light for it and i feel like this one is more on the warmer side and the lip liner is actually more on the cool side other than that it's applying very smooth i'm liking the formula it's like something that i do usually work with and it's not sticky at all it's actually like very soft very smooth it does apply very well i think it might need a little bit more texture because it's kind of it's not too runny but it's runnier than other lipsticks that i've had or that i tend to use um i did just like squeeze my lips together so that it could blend out itself instead of me actually going over again but i think no i think it's all right like that yeah, so if you do tend to reach out for it, um, definitely just make sure that you blend out your lips well. Because if not, it's going to look like way too out of tone and it's not going to blend nice. Definitely going to feel that color change. So that's how it looks like on. I feel like combined and, you know, blended out, I feel like it looks very... It's like a very cute nude. Um, it would definitely look better on a lighter skin person just because it's, I feel like it's a little too light for me. Or maybe just because I tend to reach out for a little bit darker shades, but I don't hate it. I'm actually really liking it. Like I'm, every time I see it, I like it more. So it's actually dry yet. Let me go ahead and do the kiss test and see if it actually transfers on. Oh, I forgot to do a swatch. Let me do a swatch real quick so there's a swatch with the lipstick like you can see it is a little more lighter than the lip liner so you're definitely gonna have to blend that out evenly so it doesn't look too light now for the transfer test so it actually i don't know if you can see it didn't really transfer but you can see just the outline and i'm thinking that's because of the lip liner yeah i think that's a lip liner because I didn't cover it all the way through because it was gonna look too weird so I think it's just the lip liner that's transferring so if you want something that's completely transfer proof don't just use a lip liner definitely you know use a lipstick instead because it is a liquid lipstick so it is gonna last you longer and it's not gonna transfer as much but you know what I'm actually feeling it a little powdery kind of dryish now that it's setting it's not too dry like it's not something that you can stand like if you're somebody that does not like that feeling you're probably not gonna find this one comfortable but if you're used to it you're just gonna be like oh okay whatever it's a liquid lipstick that's what it feels like so that is how the lipstick looks like on um it does look very cute um, i am kind of liking it more and more now that i see it and i know it's gonna look super cute for fall and winter so yeah, I am going to head out. I do have to go to a doctor's appointment right now. It is it is 6.35 p.m. So we're going to do this like a quick little wear test. We're not going to go a whole day, but I am going to be out and about as I normally do. So yeah, I will update you guys whenever I'm out. That way you guys can see what the lipstick looks like and how I feel about it towards the end. Hey guys, so I'm back to do a quick little update. I did... Oh my god, hold on. I did the ultimate wear test. I ate some tacos. Right now it's like almost going to be 10 p.m. So it's been like a good five, five hours more or less. Um, but I ate tacos, like very greasy, oily tacos because I forgot to ask for my tacos with no oil. So as you can see, the top part is kind of there. It's just the bottom part, like right, right there in the inner that's a little worn out but that's usually what happens with like every other liquid lipstick that i use um so to me it's nothing too bad you know um i always carry my lipsticks with me and then i'll just reapply so uh for three dollars i think you know it's kind of not that bad <laughs> because like i said i usually carry my lipsticks with me so i'll just reapply it but let me give you another close-up
You can see that the top is not very worn out, just the bottom and the inner side of the lip. I did forget to mention that it does feel like a little dry, but not too much. It's like not that uncomfortable, but you can definitely feel it there. But to me, that's not really an issue just because I'm used to liquid lipstick and it usually feels like that. You're not going to find... Well, you probably will, but you're not going to find a cheap liquid lipstick that is like very comfortable that you can't really feel. So on that count, it's all right. You know, it's passable. I feel like it could do maybe a little bit better, but for three bucks and a dollar store lipstick, I do not think it's bad at all. So those were my quick little opinions on the lipstick, guys. I'm sorry that the video had to be cut short, but I don't actually have much time to film a little outro. But um, that was my quick little review. Um, definitely go try these out. Go find them out for yourselves. I really do wish that my Dollar General had more colors because this little duo is so cheap. It was only three bucks and you get a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. So go ahead and check them out at your Dollar General. And let me know in the comments down below if you do find some, what colors you find and if you like them or not. So yeah, that was it for this quick little video, you guys. Let me know what other products you want me to review and if you enjoy these type of videos. And like always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.